going? I figured I would just film a week or two of my life. I'm about to head out to an event, and then I'm heading upstate just for a few days with some friends to celebrate my birthday a little early, which I'm so excited about. But as usual, I'm running late. So I'm gonna get changed. See y'all on the other side. There we go. Got a little fit on, and my Uber's here because I'm about to head out to a exciting lunch with Outset, which is a really amazing beauty brand, and Scarlett Johansson. <laughs> Let's go check it out. I'm excited. Awesome, it's a dry oil. I was terrified of trying any oil because like I said, my skin is acne prone. The sun is going down and it's getting Here's to wait a speech, a happy birthday. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. I feel like I've dinked everybody like three times. I did it. Raise your hand if you did it. I just want to. Your girl is 26. I'm so excited to have another year of life. One thing that I am really proud of and shocked by is I ran 11 miles today. That is not something I do. I'm like, our bodies are so amazing and we are capable of so much more than we let ourselves believe. I have not run more than five miles in about 10 years in like high school cross country literally 10 years ago and I just ran 11 and I'm like fine like wh wh what our bodies are so cool started running I was like I'm gonna run three miles it was a beautiful day the sun was shining there's a lot of people out and about the energy was good I was like you know what screw it I'm gonna try to go for five miles I haven't run five miles in years got to five miles I was like Let's keep going. Let's go to six. Let's go to seven. I was going at like a 9 15 pace I blew my own mind and I'm not saying this to like toot my little horn I'm saying like your brain is so powerful. The whole mind over matter is so accurate Obviously, you know, I work out so I have a level of fitness, but I'm not running 11 miles ever It was just such a testament of like we're capable of so much more than we let ourselves believe And it was just like a very cool way to be like ah a new year I made it to 26. It is crazy. I am so grateful grateful for all of you guys out there that have been on this journey with me. I've been making videos consistently since I was 19. And this past year, the year of being 25, was without a doubt the craziest year of my life. Like, just insane. So much growth, so many experiences, so many challenges. It was a journey, to say the least. I feel like everybody talks about the post-grad confusion of like, what do I do? We need to be talking more about mid to kind of late-ish 20s. That's when life gets really funky. It's this weird season where it's like, you're kind of expected to know what you, you want to do, but there's so many big questions of like, do I want to stick in this career path? Like, this is kind of the time to change it up. Like, where do I want to be geographically? Now normal for people to be getting married. It's still a bit young, but I have friends with husbands and babies and mortgages. It's definitely an interesting age. And I'm really excited for this year. I have a lot of hopes and goals and dreams. I really want to create content that's more just like out of the box, you know, maybe challenges and the sense of like, I love that I like hiked alone at the start of the year and like challenged myself to see if I could like be alone with myself for that long, kind of a silent retreat and, you know, camp and the whole deal. So I feel like this year is definitely going to be a year of self-exploration, trying to figure out what this next chapter of life of my late 20s might look like. I'd love to find love, maybe. Potentially the thought of like being in a committed relationship kind of freaks me out Like I love being a lone agent and getting to like meet a bunch of different people and but that would be really cool You know putting that out there into the universe a little manifestation if you will I'm excited to keep learning and growing and hopefully traveling and meeting cool people meeting you guys So I'm really excited for 26. So I'm having some friends over ordering some Persian food Which is my favorite. It's what I grew up on and just having a bunch of people over for drinks We'll probably go out dancing which is my favorite. I just want to see all the people I care about 
Our attempt. How'd it go, Peter? How was our? <laughs> How was our? Uh, a little sweeter than expected. How we doing? Wanted to take a second to thank today's sponsors, Naywai. Currently wearing their set, and it is so comfortable. There's a good chance you've heard of them from their Berry Zero collection that went pretty viral because it is so insanely soft and can fit a bunch of different body types. It's quite thin while also providing support. They specialize in making comfortable loungewear, underwear, athleisure, and they focus too on quality over quantity with a more sustainable approach using fabrics like tinsel, which I love, to create some of their pieces. So what is incredible about this for one is that it stretches to adapt to a bunch of different body types. My body fluctuates so much. <laughs> and it's really nice to have that go-to set that is just always going to be so comfortable fit so well, feel very lightweight and honestly like buttery soft on my body. Well, you know, give me a little bit of support. I wear this a lot as just like a loungewear set around the house, but this bra is super cute and I love how long it goes. So I sometimes wear it as a crop top underneath like a little blazer moment or a little jacket, especially in the summertime with like little crop shorts. As long as you're within this listed sizes on their website, they will fit you so well and so comfortably. And it comes in a wide range of colors. I actually have another color. Let me show you guys a little haul moment here. A bunch of different offerings as well on their website, like boxers and briefs, like this little comfy pair here. I'm obsessed with this colorway as well, like so. I will of course link this all down below. Thanks again to Nay for sponsoring this video. And, uh, Let's go, let's go work out. Just had a really good workout and now I'm headed to meet up with my friend Jasmine. She is a creator and does a lot of other really cool things, but I have known Jasmine for so many years. We took classes together in San Diego. We went to the same tiny little school and she was my bud back in the day and she moved here, which is so fun because no one else from my university moved to New York. It's crazy. It's so literally just like the two of us, I think. So I'm really going excited to see her. So I need to get changed and head out. Yeah. We got this little stuff here. She has a scar. It kind of reminds me of the girly from Nightmare Before Christmas with all her stitches. <laughs> Jasmine longer than I know anybody in New York. Oh, isn't that cute? I know, we go way back. Actually, same, right? Oh, oh. All time. All time. Thank you. Oh, we got it. We gave in, y'all. We got it. I gave in. It's so cute. It's so busted. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a real busted. If you look closely, it's nice and in the back. Here we go. A little elbow patty. Yeah. I feel like a badass. Yes. There you go. <laughs> oh, can you? So Are they so fun? I want to get like some like tooth gems with like a gold piece and like some diamonds. Don't look at my nails. And then <laughs> these are fun. Oh. 
How can I forget? Look at him! He's so, He's so cute! It's a little clown oh where you put the egg in his head and then in his little hat you put salt and you, then you just... Oh! His yeah, there's salt! <laughs> How's it going? We had such a lovely little day with Jasmine. We hit up the Dumbo flea market. Got some great goods as you saw. I'm actually about to head out to a concert. I've been trying to like get back to the things in my life that have like continuously brought me the most joy throughout different seasons. And one of those is live music. If you follow me on Instagram, you probably see, I feel like I'm over posting songs that I'm excited about or new artists on my story. And I love making Spotify playlists. I have a lot of themed Spotify playlists if you're in need. I've been like getting back to going to a lot of different shows. Um, Kevin Morby, Fiddler, Godspeed You, Black Emperor, just like a cool stony rock band and I'm going to see LCD sound system tonight which is just like a New York classic so I'm very excited about that it's just one of those things that will always bring me so much joy I want to keep sharing about what's going on in Iran just to keep it top of mind so if you're not exactly sure what's going on there are a bunch of protests that broke out after this 22 year old Masa Amini was taken by the morality police in Iran for essentially not having proper head coverings which is enforced there by law essentially she ended up dying in the hands of the morality police for just showing her hair as a woman, it is baffling and so just infuriating. The officers are known for being extremely rough with women who are deemed to violate the theocracy's, you know, religious dress code, essentially. It's so like the hijab, the hair covering. There was news that the Morelli piece are like being closed down in Iran, but it seems like it's potentially still a publicity stunt. I'm getting back into my feminist texts these days. Um, a few recommendations would be Invisible Women, The Beauty Myth, and I just read The Seven Necessary Sins for Girls and Women. There's a bunch of really helpful stats, which I think are important to keep top of mind. It's so important to know what's going on globally, but also here in the States, there's a lot of room for improvement. So women in the US are still earning about 30% less than men, and the pay gap increases with age. While women represent 54.3% of the US workforce, they only hold 35% of senior positions in companies here in the US. There's a lot of room for improvement. I think it's really important to know what's going on globally, as well as paying attention in your own country for bills that are being passed and laws that is kind of one of the main ways to hopefully enact change on that note my brain is a little all over the place i'm drinking a celsius this is like my crack these days i'm gonna go head out to lcd sound system <laughs> creativity that you've been able to like take time and ruminate on and so I woke up this morning and I was like let's combat that I'm a sucker for question marks this one is the and self edition by the cut I can link it down below what's an impression I make which I know is false what am I envious of and why when do I feel most alive and what about it makes me feel that way if I'm the average of the five people I spend the most time with, describe who I am. So that card, which I've heard this statement before, definitely caught my attention. I was like, beyond the people I'm spending my time with, what else am I spending my time on? Some of my like biggest inspirations are creators. There's a lot of people that I really look up to and I wanna derive inspiration from them moving forward as I kind of figure out what I'm doing. One thing with working in social media, which I say only because I think it's relevant for those of course who are working in social media, as well as with other jobs, the approach that is expected is often rewarded is the one where you're just like pumping out content on like three to four different platforms as much as humanly possible in the hopes of virality. And it's just kind of this like endless machine that needs to be fed and the quicker you feed it, the more it will like reward you back, which strips away creativity and depth and the ability to like take time to really like research and pour time into a project. I think the people I admire most are the ones who take a step back and do that. With that in mind, I just made this long ass journal page 
of creators I admire. I'm gonna read off their names. Um, so shout out to all these people. Eva Zubek and Sorella Moore. They're just like the most empowered, badass women. They don't challenging themselves. They're what they're capable of exploring really unique parts of the world, of celebrating aging, being a woman, but in a very like empowered and strong way, which I'm here for the soft girl era. And I also just really admire the people who are like strong and push themselves while being both. Does that make sense? Hopefully. I also wrote down Moya and Leah Field Notes. Shout out to my gals. My kind of more like soft content. Very beautiful and aesthetic and they feel very raw and genuine and comforting and I'm enjoying their explorations of life in their 20s. So yes, they were, I've loved them for a while. I finally met a lot of them now and they're really great in person. Um, Vanelli Melli uh, is an Instagram gal. She's the only one I added that's an Instagram person primarily. Just has the most incredible style and aesthetic and she puts so much effort and thought into like what she creates. Okay, also I wrote down Nathaniel Drew, Casey Neistat, Jack Edwards. So like if I was the average of the five people that I maybe watched the most or spend the most time with on social media, these are some of those people that I would want to be within that. It's like 40 degrees Fahrenheit. I am headed to a workout class. Bailey Brown, who does YouTube videos, is having a Pilates class and I've never really done Pilates so I'm very excited to try it out. And if you do YouTube workout videos, I feel like those people become your like your besties and they just don't know it. I've done this gal's five minute butt routine like every day for like two years. So I'm like, big fan. <laughs> um, I'm like, she's been in my living room many a morning. Josh, my friend, who's an amazing photographer, is helping me shoot some content, and then I have to come back and edit. It's just classic working day, but lots to do, so let's go. I'm a little frazzled. Yeah, it's just too, like... It's too close. Photographer, and we're shooting, shooting today. We're shooting out here. Check out his work. Link down below. <laughs> That's right. That's right. 